What's going on guys? Dukes Woos back here again with another video and today we're going to be going through some card pickups I got over the last couple weeks and also a pretty nice giveaway package that I won from another YouTuber. First we're going to go through the packages that I got and then we're going to go to the giveaway cards which are pretty big so stay tuned for that. So let's get started with the cards I picked up in the last couple weeks. All right we got first out of Optic 2019 basketball. We have two John Wall cards. This one is the blue velocity parallel. I really like John Wall as a point guard, even though he's got that injury. I'm sure he's going to come back strong, though. But I just love the look of this card. Sparkles in it. it just looks super cool. And then the silver hollow is also very cool with the rainbow on it. And I just thought that was a pretty cool card. Also in here, we got something in here. And this, I was excited for this one. We have the, I have the Yogi Ferrell auto already for Contenders 2016 draft picks, but this is the Troy Williams auto. This one is not numbered like those Yogi Ferrell ones, but I liked watching Troy Williams at Indiana, and uh, I just thought picking up one of his autographs, especially in the Indiana uniform, would be pretty cool to add to the collection. All right, let's get into this package. I got it wrapped up here. Let's take a look. Okay, okay, here we go. Another Indiana basketball player, but one more recently. Uh, Romeo Langford, now of the Boston Celtics. This is him and his Indiana uni, the red one. And it's the uh, silver parallel for Prism, and it looks pretty cool. Just like the hollow with John Wall, this is Prism's version of the hollow. It's the silver Prism. Cool looking car with the rainbow there. This package is one I actually did in a trade. This was a bigger... Uh, package because I traded away some cards that this guy was looking for and then he gave me a bunch of Bulls, Bears, Cubs, a mixture of all the uh, sports teams cards that I was looking for and uh, we traded those cards. He sent me uh, these. I sent him some in the mail and I thought it was a good trade that worked out for both of us. So we got a bunch of cards. I think it was 30 cards total. Let's go through the first couple here. We have the uh, Dennis Rodman. We just talked about Prism. This is the uh, silver Prism card of Dennis Rodman. If you were watching the Last Stand series, you know why I like Rodman because uh, he's just a really cool guy and quite the character. Next, out of Prism, we got this was from uh, last year's Prism. This is uh, Chandler Hutchinson's rookie card for the Chicago Bulls. Hopefully, he gets better. Uh, we got two Optic cards here from last year Chandler Hutchinson, Wendell Carter Jr. Both Bulls rated rookies. We got a uh, NBA hoops from last year of Wendell Carter Jr. Uh, these are some rookie cards of Jorge Soler. No longer on the Cubs, but had the most home runs for the AL last year. I think he hit 49, 50, something like that. But Cubs traded him away for Wade Davis, but still a great Cubs player. Got his rookie card from Allen and Ginter and Gypsy Queen. Both those looked pretty cool. So I picked, picked those out. Uh, we got Chris Bryant from the same year. I think it's 2017, Allen and Ginter. This is uh, two Bowman cards. So first Bowmans. This is the regular Bowman, the paper version of Kyle Schwarber. And this is one of the Cubs prospects. He's one of their top prospects, a catcher guy. Uh, Miguel Amaya, this is Bowman Chrome first. So it's more of a, it's the Chrome finish version, whereas the Kyle Schwarber was the paper version. Next, we got out of Topps. Uh, what year is this? Topps 2017. Ian Happ rookie card, given that smug look. <laughs> uh, didn't seem to help him too much last year, but great player for the Cubs. Hopefully he gets a little bit better in the next couple years. This one I was also excited about. This is the uh, Topps Chrome rookie card of Javier Baez. I, when he said that he had this one available, I knew I had to have it. It's just a really cool looking card with the Chrome finish. And it's a Javier Baez rookie card. One of his more sta staple, one of his more staple rookie cards. Tops Chrome, so pick that one up as well. All right, let's get... Also, by the way, great package he sent this in. I thought this was hilarious. But uh, he really packaged it well, so that way none of the cards would get damaged or anything like that. But let's pick some more out here. Oh, it looks like he gave me some penny sleeves also. Let's grab those. Wow, okay, thanks for that. Always can use more supplies, so I'll use those for any more cards I pick up. All right, let's go through these. Don Russ rated rookie Anthony Miller, wide receiver out of Memphis for the Bears. 
He did pretty good last year. Hopefully he continues to grow and get better. These next two cards are both out of Topps Fire. The last year they did Topps Fire, I believe that was 2015. Yeah, they don't do Topps Fire anymore for football. They only do it really for baseball. But this is a uh, Mike Singletary and Gail Sayers card. Both older players for the Bears, but I enjoyed watching documentaries and old videos of them playing. So those were two pretty cool looking cards that I thought, even though they're not more, more they're not very valuable, they're still very cool cards to have for a personal collection. Uh, the next couple cards we got here, we got a Kyle Long, Topps rookie. Topps no longer does football cards, but back then they did with Kyle Long. This is his rookie card, old guard for the Bears, now retired. Uh, we got the Eddie Goldman Topps Chrome rookie card, so same thing again. Chrome finish on this one, but Eddie Goldman, D-tackle for the Bears out of Florida State. We got a uh, Tariq Cohen, the human joystick here, his rookie card out of Optic. Pretty cool looking card there. First rookie card I have Tariq Cohen. We have a uh, Khalil Mack rookie card. It's not in the Bears uniform because obviously he got drafted by the Raiders and then traded to the Bears, but still, I thought this was a really cool looking card, just the both the pictures and the draft class thing right here. It's just a really cool looking card. First round pick number five, Khalil Mack. We got a uh, Indiana University draft picks. This is Jason Spriggs. I believe he went to the Packers as a guard in the same draft class as Jordan Howard, same uh, class as Nate Sudfeld, some other Indiana guys that got drafted that year. This is a really cool card. So Victor Oladipo went to Indiana University. I loved watching him. Went to the Orlando Magic, now with the Indiana Pacers. But this was, I think, from his second year in the league. Yeah, 2014-2015. This is uh, gold standard Victor Oladipo out of 285. But that's just a really cool looking card. Gold with a little rainbow tint to it. Really nice. All right, now we get to some more hits. By hits, I mean jersey cards, autographs, things like that. Let's get into here. All right, let's put that down there. All right, here we go. First, we got a Panini Immaculate Collection. It's a little dual jersey here. We got Tevin Coleman, now with the 49ers, and then Devontae Freeman when they were both Falcons teammates. That's a nice-looking card right there. We got a, also out of Immaculate, uh, Pau Gasol jersey card out of 75 and I didn't know this when I bought it but this is actually it says this is his uh, game worn material from when he was with the Lakers so I thought that was kind of weird I'll still keep it because obviously he's a Bulls player for a little bit at least and he was nice to watch but kind of weird they had his Lakers jersey with his Bulls uniform on here kind of deceiving there but whatever Next, we got a uh, kind of a funny dual jersey card. We got Luol Deng of the Bulls, who was a great player back in like 2012, 13. Those years, a real grit and grind kind of player. I loved watching him. But they got his jersey card. And then Larry Hughes, who I don't really know a ton about, but obviously he must have been pretty good if he was on the same card as Luol Deng. But nice little combo jersey there. And that one's out of 35 combo materials. Next, we got a Taj Gibson uh, double double. Uh, I think this is at uh, Panini Titanium. Yeah, so it's a double jersey card. Nice black jersey and red jersey right there. This one is out of 279. Taj Gibson was a great player for the Bulls. Same time frame as uh, Lou Aldang when it was him, Derek Rose, Boozer, and Joe Kim No. It's fun to watch them. And now, not the player he used to be, he was a great guy off the bench to have for the Bulls. This one, just kind of an extra card that the guy threw in because obviously these two guys are not very good players, but Tony Snell's been bouncing around the league a little bit, but he, good defensive player, and Eric Murphy I think is out of the NBA, but still, nice little dual patch there out of 199. Next, this one's a really nice one. Uh, immaculate Collection Rookie Card Jumbo, nice jumbo red jersey here out of 99, uh, Doug McDermott. I remember when the Bulls traded uh, two draft picks. It was Gary Harris, and I can't remember who the other guy was, but they traded up to get Doug McDermott. I was really excited when they drafted him. Obviously, it didn't pan out, but uh, he's been filling in the shooter off the bench roles for many different teams around the league, so still a good player, just not on the Bulls anymore. This one, uh, Noah Vonley out of Totally Certified. This is a really cool card. So it's clear, but like you can see how he's like not on the front of it. He's like in between it. Just looks really cool. It's like he's encapsulated in the card. But jersey right there, rookie card out of Totally Certified. Noah Vonley played for Indiana. Was surprised when he went to the NBA. He wasn't insane in Indiana, but he was a lottery pick. So 
Obviously, he's still playing right now, but that was a nice card to pick up. We got a Chandler Hutchinson Donruss card right here, jersey and auto, uh, rookie card. That's a nice one, RPA right there. This is also a really cool one. This is a uh, 16 or 6 out of 12, so really low sh short print card here out of Immaculate. A giant jumbo jersey for Tevin Coleman out of Indiana. That was a really cool one. And this last one is out of Immaculate also. This came, this was with that same series for the Tevin Coleman and uh, Devontae Freeman, but it's Kevin White and Jeremy Langford. Both did not pan out, but still a couple Bears rookies right there. Nice to pick that up. All right. And now, let's get these out of the way for the real big pickups. Not necessarily pickups, but more like giveaways that I won. So there's a giveaway with a YouTube channel called Trav's Pax Polls. And uh, he was doing a giveaway for these three cards. And all you had to do was comment on his video and subscribe to his Instagram and things like that. And I did uh, all that and I ended up winning. So I thought that was really cool. And we got a couple cards right here. We'll hide that one for a second. But... Here's a, the, I got three cards, all in one touches, which is super nice of them. So shout out Trav's Packs Pulls. I'll link his uh, channel in the description if you want to check it out. But first we got a Brandon Ayuk, uh Prism Draft Rookie Card Auto right here. And it is on the back. It's the camo. It's out of 25. This guy's projected to be a first round draft pick. I think like 20 to 25 range is when he's supposed to get drafted. But if he comes off the board earlier, that could be a really nice card. This card was like, I was looking on eBay about 40, 50 bucks, which is Really cool that he gave all these away, you know, just for someone to win that follows his channel. This is at a Topps Inception. Topps Inception is more of a artistic kind of card look. You can tell it's not the same as, you know, the regular Topps series. But nice little uh, two-color patch right there, red and black for Tim Anderson, batting champ. Batted about 330-something uh, last year for the White Sox. thought that was a really cool card. I'll probably end up selling that one because... I like the Cubs, and I do not like the White Sox, but still, that was a nice card to get as well. And this was the huge one. This is the reason that I entered the giveaway, but the Zion Williamson Optic Rookie card. This was insane. I couldn't believe when I won the giveaway that I got this card. This card goes for about, oh, oh geez, got to be careful there. This, oh, Trav's pack pulls. That was nice of him to put those stickers on there, but uh so this card goes for about $50, $60 raw, but if you look at it right now, the centering left to right, top to bottom is really nice, and also really nice centering on the back. So I'll probably send this into PSA, and PSA 10, this is about a $400, $450 card, so that'd be really cool once you know we can start sending things back into PSA if I can get a PSA 10 of this. But that was a super cool card. Uh, it was so nice of Trav's Pack Pulls to do that giveaway, and I ended up winning these. So... Uh, Hope you guys enjoyed watching the video. If you want to see Travis Paxpol's channel, I'll link it in the description. And uh, thanks for watching.